Um, also today, I want to invite Randy Clark to come up and speak to us a few minutes regarding annual giving. Good morning. My name is Randy Clark, as Kelly said. Susan and I have been members here for about since about 2000. And as you can see, I'm in the choir. You know that really powerful bass voice that you hear booming out during the hymns? Yeah, that's not me. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk to you about why we give and why we should give. And by we, I mean all of us, the, the royal we. Uh, some of us give because of the wonderful ministries that Christ Church has beyond our walls. That is, things like supporting the Sterling community, preparing backpacks for the school year, support of Project Host, building habitat houses, working with Goal Justice for Greenville. Some of us give because our children, who just left the St. Luke's Chapel, I'll participate in events like Sunday School, Episcopal Youth Activities, Children's Sabbath, Basketball League. Some of us give because the music and the worship are particularly uplifting. That's certainly key for Susan and me. Some of us give to support the upkeep of the beautiful grounds and the church and the campus and to cover operational costs. Some of us give because we believe that God calls us to give to the church. Now, that one I can prove to you because this is giving season, right? And what color is the liturgical color? Huh? Huh? You think that's a coincidence? And it's the longest color of the year is the green, okay? It's not a coincidence. Some of us give because we get a deep spiritual blessing in giving that when, we were, when we were generous. And you know, I used to feel that the more we appreciated Christ Church, the more we'd give. But now I know that the more we give, the more we actually appreciate Christ Church. Now, Christ Church is not a pay-to-pray church. You know, there are churches that insist on seeing your tax returns, and then they'll tell you how much is your, is your fair share. Christ Church doesn't do that. Now, by the way, God actually does see your tax returns, but I digress on that. Our giving needs to be a prayerful reflection of where we are and who we want to be. So the question arises, how much to give? And the answer to that is, the basic answer is pretty simple, and the answer is more. You should have received the mailer from Kristen Bennett with the statistics about giving. Christ Church, even before the pandemic, had reached a pledging plateau, and we can't seem to get past that. If you look at the numbers that Kristen sent you, I call it the cash ceiling. But our expenses have actually not plateaued, whether it's utilities, maintenance, salaries, benefits, the needs of our outside ministry partners. We need to increase our support. And the future of the church just walked out of the St. Luke's Chapel. So, I mean, that's motivation in itself. Christ Church operates on pledged commitments. The budget is based in reality. We don't have a faith budget and a real budget. We have one budget that's based on what we say we will give in 2024. So if you're not in the habit of giving to Christ Church, I urge you to pledge for 2024. Now, start at any amount. A dollar a week is a $50 pledge. Uh, $5 a week is $250. $20 a week would be $1,000. Add as many zeros as you want. But whatever you can do, please pledge a commitment for 2024. And if you are now pledging, God bless you. I encourage you to increase your pledge for 2024, and please consider increasing it by 5 or 10%. Add zeros to that, too, if you want. If you have some financial uncertainty for 2024, pledge what you feel sure about. You can call Kristen at any time and adjust your pledge, down or up, and uh, she'll be happy to take care of that for you. We passed our 200th anniversary during the pandemic, and we must go forward in faith into our third century. Let's all crash through the cash ceiling together. Thank you. <laughs>